Well, hello there. Today we are going to watch a classic TV series called All in the Family, a show that I'm sure most of our listeners are familiar with. All in the Family is known far and wide as one of the best TV series to ever hit the air. So today we are going to reminisce and watch the series again with the entire cast of Then and Now. We will tell you all about the original names and ages of the actors from the show and how they change in 2023. Okay, let's check it out together. Sally Struthers was born on July 28, 1947 in Portland, Oregon. She played the character Gloria Bunker Stivick in the series when she was 24 years old in 1971. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 75. Clothes on you. I got some clothes on you. Where, where? Here, here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing I wear on the beach. It ain't the same as the beach. The beach is different. In the month of October, to do the musical Young Frankenstein, playing oh, wow. Frau Blucher. You know, the Floris Leachman role in the film. And then right after that, I'm going to... Carol O'Connor was born on August 2nd, 1924, in Manhattan, New York City. He played the character Archie Bunker in the series when he was 47 years old in 1971. Sadly, on June 21, 2001, O'Connor died from a heart attack brought on by complications from diabetes in Culver City, California. He was 76 years old. 10s for you got a whole pile of hundreds here here's a hundred give me four tens that's 140 dollars come on put it in the All back right, let's go huh? daddy stop it's unforgivable it's un unchrist like i wonder mike evans was born on november 3rd 1949 in salisbury north carolina he played the character lionel jefferson in the series when he was 22 years old in 1971. Unfortunately, Evans died of throat cancer at his mother's home in 29 Palms, California at the age of 57. Oh, I thought I'd bring you by on my way to school. Smells like chicken soup. It is. Mom's a great believer in chicken soup. Didn't it? <laughs> Didn't it strike you funny? She was a lesbian and proud of it. And I said, I'm so happy for you. I couldn't do that. Isabel Sanford was born Eloise Gwendolyn Sanford on August 29, 1917 in Harlem, New York City. She played the character Mrs. Jefferson in the series when she was 54 years old in 1971. Unfortunately, in September 2003, Sanford underwent preventative surgery on her carotid artery. In the ensuing months, her health steadily declined. She was hospitalized at Cedars Sinai Medical Center on July 4th, 2004, where she died five days later, a month before her 87th birthday. Got here early. Well, I wanted to get right to work. Oh, by the way, would it be too much trouble to borrow pail from you? I forgot to bring one. Oh, sure. Warrants the maid. Oh, yeah, she was a uh, Funny, she was very calm. She was an unusual maid. Jean Stapleton was born on January 19, 1923, in Manhattan, New York City. She played the character Edith Bunker in the series when she was 48 years old in 1971. Stapleton died of natural causes at her apartment in Manhattan on May 31, 2013. She was 90 years old. Over the years, he's given me a lot of colds. Edith, I'm trying to roll over here, huh? It's all right for him when he gets a cold. He's the husband. Baseball coach in the city of Baltimore uh, reveres her in their history. That was uh, very lovely. She didn't stay for the shoot. Alan Melvin was born on February 18, 1923 in Kansas City, Missouri. He played the character Barney Hefner in the series when he was 48 years old in 1971. Sadly, Alan Melvin died of cancer on January 17, 2008. He was 84 years old. Hi, Edith. Well done, 
Hey, 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 Arch, come on. It's 8.30. We can't keep the mollies waiting. Let's go bowling, pal. Uh, well, Barney, see, I already been bowling. <clears throat> Jason Wingreen was born on October 9, 1920, in Brooklyn, New York, to a Jewish family, and grew up in Howard Beach, Queens. He played the character Harry Snowden in the series when he was 56 years old in 1976. Wingreen died of natural causes at the age of 95 at his home in Los Angeles, California, on December 25, 2015. Is it afraid you was dumped? Oh. Oh, come on, Arch. You've been married a long time. Don't you miss the old lady even a little bit? He didn't get up and shake hands or... He was just in the dark? He was in the dark. Oh, man, that's kind of weird. And so, and I stood there... Rob Reiner was born into a Jewish family in the Bronx, New York, on March 6th, 1947. He played the character Michael Meathead Stivick in the series when he was 24 years old in 1971. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 76. All right, Archie, we know you get the only war-connected head colds in the country. <laughs> now, will you roll the dice, please? All right, I'm rolling. Here we go. Here we are. One, two, three. An uh, opening act, the first act. And the writers are writing it down, and we're scribbling it, and we learned it, and we went in front of the 8 o'clock show, and we just did it, and it worked. That Betty Garrett was born on May 23rd, 1919, in St. Joseph, Missouri. She played the character Irene Lorenzo in the series when she was 54 years old in 1973. Sadly, Garrett died of an aortic aneurysm in Los Angeles on February 12th, 2011, at the age of 91. They paid the man who used to run the forklift. Oh, well, come on. Irene, after all, it's a well-known fact. Uh, men are weight more than women. <laughs> doing domestic things and the woman doing what is usually considered uh, correct for a male to do. So I was Miss Fixit. Sherman Hemsley was born on February 1st, 1938, and raised in South Philadelphia by his mother, who worked in a lamp factory. He played the character George Jefferson in the series when he was 35 years old in 1973. Sadly, on July 24, 2012, Hemsley died at his home in El Paso, Texas at age 74. The cause of death was given as superior vena cava syndrome, a complication associated with lung and bronchial carcinomas. All dude it up with a flower in his lapel there. Or is that one of them things that's squeaking your rock? No, it's weird. <laughs> I wear a fresh one every day. You know what I'm saying helped a lot, and then all this, and then by yelling, and just things started happening. And Vincent Gardinia was born on January 7th, 1920, in Campania, Italy. He played the character Frank Lorenzo in the series when he was 51 years old in 1971. Sadly, on December 9, 1992, Gardenia died of a heart attack at the age of 72. Scream for you! Hello, everybody, back in Frank, who are you? This is my husband, Frank, and these are the Stivics and the Bunkers. How do you do? Uh, in my years coming out here in California and in other places that I've, that I've uh, worked, but primarily I'm, I live in the same place. My family's there. And it's, Liz Torres was born on September 27, 1947, in the Bronx, New York. She played the character Teresa Betancourt in the series when she was 29 years old in 1976. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 75. For about a month while I take my x-ray technician examination, oh. and this is so close to the hospital, and besides, it'll keep me away from a man who hates me. I wait about close to 300 I didn't make it to three I tried but I didn't hit it but I was very fat and and we were walking across the square and I was Danielle Brisbois was born on June 28 1969 in Brooklyn New York she played the character Stephanie Mills in the series when she was nine years old in 1978 currently she's living happily at the age of 53 this is your Uncle Archie. Hiya there, kiddo. 
I heard a lot about you too. Single in the UK right now called Love is a Hurricane just came out this week. And um, I'm also really proud of kind of the lesser known songs that we'll probably never get one. Before we wrap up this journey through the world of All in the Family TV series, I want to hear from you. Who is your favorite character from the series? What's this thing they have that's so appealing to you? Share your thoughts and feelings in the comment section below. And don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you're always the first to know when new content is released. Your support and engagement mean the world to me. Thank you for joining me on this journey down memory lane.